Hey there, monkeys. It's been a while, uh, but we're back in the workshop on a lazy weekend, so I got a little upgrade for the printer today. It's the Titan Extruder, so direct drive for my CR10 V2. Been looking forward to this, kind of always battled issues with the Bowden tube and the stock extruder. So there we go. Let's uh, take a look at it and we'll unbox it real quick. Take a look at the contents. We'll take a look at the instructions here in just a little bit, but it's actually not all that hard. You're basically going to remove your Bowden tube, and then this goes right on top of it, basically, as you can see there. You will have to update your firmware and do some cabling and obviously leveling and testing. And I obviously suggest taking off the old extruder and its motor just to get the weight off the machine. So you've got your instructions. This is the actual extruder that goes on top of it, and you can see there's this little adapter which we'll take out because that's part of the installation, and it basically just clamps on top of that. And the PLA or whatever filament you're using basically just feeds down in here and this is going to be the tension on it so that looks pretty good you also get the screws that are needed to screw it into the plate an extension cable for the actual motor some zip ties a little bit of standard Bowden tube I won't be using that um, I'll use the Capricorn one. A couple of tools, Allen wrenches, and uh, one more screw. That's about it. Obviously, I want to quickly scan over their instructions, but it's reality, so their instructions are only going to be so great. Just like you guys, I went and watched a couple of videos and tried to figure it all out. But it's not actually all that bad. We'll have to take off and loosen this screw back here and take off the standard one. And then we'll have to insert the Capricorn tube and basically cut it off so that we can install that. And that's that little adapter that it clamps onto. If you take a look at that, you basically have to take the cover off or loosen it up so that you can basically squeeze it around there and then tighten it up. And then from there, you got to put the screws back in, add the cable in, and then go on to installing the new firmware. So let's go ahead and first print out uh, the standard Benchy in the standard CR10 V2 form. Uh, only upgrades is a Capricorn tube, and that's about it. And we'll do some examples so that we can look at it back to back. So we went through and did the upgrade. I'm not going to show you guys all that. It's not too hard. You can find some instructions on better YouTube videos than my series. But here's what you're left over with. You've got the Bowden tube we're not going to use, my old Bowden tube and its connectors. And of course, 
the old extruder and its motor. Don't throw this away. Keep it. Spare parts are always great, along with everything else. So if we come down and take a look at the printer, we can see that the direct drive is on. Um, for right now, I just have my filament sensor over here with a piece of filament stuck into it. I'm going to have to move it up to the top and kind of redo some of my filament routing to make it easier on here. But you can see it's all installed and the old extruder is gone. So let's take a quick look, see at our pre versus post Benji. All right, sorry about the camera shaking, but we'll do this in one. So this Benji, which is pretty darn good, is pretty stock right off a CR10 V2 with very basic uh, slicer settings out of Cura. It's basically using the Shep profile for the CR10. Um, very basic, printed at 0 0.16, uh, 65 millimeters per second, and it looks like this one was probably printed a little too hot. But we can see that one actually looks pretty good. Not a whole lot of string, some blobbing, and some of the overhangs weren't all that great. But this is untuned. This is another one that I printed off of a standard CR10 V2. Just tweak the settings a little bit, turn the heat down, and I think this one printed out quite a bit better. Still could use some tuning, but no big deal. So we've got these two are from the standard CR10 V2 with the Bowden style extruder. This one was the first one I printed directly after doing the upgrade. The only differences in the printer settings at all was that I reduced, reduced the retraction setting to two millimeters rather than like the standard six for the Bowden tube. Handled uh, the arches quite a bit better. We've got some banding in here, but again, it could be all tuned out. But in general, it looks really good for straight out of the box and no calibration. Uh, I went ahead and reproduced it. And it actually turned out pretty good. Remember, guys, this is all stock settings, not tuned in at all. This is straight CR10 V2 versus the CR10 V2 with the E3 typing. So you can't see a whole lot of differences in those. Uh, I tend to agree with that. Um, my CR10 has been a workhorse for the last like year and a half that I've had it. But there was something big that I wanted to get into, which was being able to print with TPU. And I also wanted to get rid of the problems of the Bowden tube jamming up or coming loose in those connectors. Because I tell you, you just can't find good connectors. And when you do, you think you got them, and then they break on you. This is a nice stringing test. With no changes, just straight off the bat, and it did fantastic. Uh, I really, really liked the looks of that. Um, as you guys saw, we did have one benchy fail. Uh, did, you know, knock it off the bed, which was kind of funny. Throw the video in. We also had a failure of the standard print test, where it actually, once it got up there, this was flopping around. And it just broke right off. But you can see it actually printed out quite nicely. And we got up to 70, 70 some degrees before it really started having problems. You can see that focus. Uh, this was the second attempt. You can see it got a little crazy and floppy on this one, which was why it was having problems printing. Uh, again, just need some tuning in. But Straight out of the box, firmware updated, and reducing the retraction setters, settings in the slicer, that's uh, pretty darn good. So, now let's get down to the real point of it, which was TPU. So, flexible filament. Um, can get high-speed filament from Overture, which is what I'm going to be using here. That prints pretty well out of the Bowden tube. But it does have some issues and jams up. Uh, gets some problems with it. And... 
I didn't want to have to deal with that as I got into it. So we went ahead and did the upgrade. So now we're going to move on to doing some prints in TP. And this is why we did this. TPU! Woo! stuff does really 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 well um, I barely changed anything except for up in the temperature this one still had a little bit of the gold PLA not purged very well so that's something but the stretchability of this stuff is absolutely great um, here's a Benji printed in the TPU same settings and we've got a little bit of stringing and a little bit of blobbing but uh, Again, straight out of the box, just barely changing any settings in your Cura Slicer for TPU. That's pretty darn good to me. Uh, got, had to print out the octopus. It did get a little stringy on the ends, but printed out perfectly. Very flexible. Uh, will be some fun stuff to play with, guys. I uh, hope you liked my little video about just comparing. I would say... The upgrade is kind of expensive to the direct drive, uh, but it does give you a spare parts. It does take away your boat and tube problems uh, quite a bit. I've been printing with it quite a bit, if you can see the other projects in the side. I uh, haven't had any problems with it jamming up. Um, no clogs, no nothing, no loose boat and tubes, because there is none. So uh, I think it's worth the upgrade, but in general, it's probably not a needed upgrade unless you guys are actually going to start printing with TPU. Um, and then I think it's pretty much almost a mandatory upgrade. Other than that, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and catch you guys next weekend.